Hey everyone, I'm going to show you the multi-information display on the Toyota Camry. This typically will work for 2015 through 2017 models. All you need to know is this touchpad over here, this button is the pages button, up and down. This is the back arrow. The center button is to reset and I will go through that on the center screen right up here. Alright, now that we are zoomed in, zoomed in on the display, as you can see up there in the top left you see the little pages button if you push the pages button on the keypad that I showed you it will scroll through these three things we'll go through the information aspect of it so there are three different pages and six different things you can display of information right now I have the digital speedometer and instantaneous fuel economy If I use the down arrow going down I have it set up for average fuel economy which I can individually reset. For example, you see at the bottom how hold to reset. You hold the little center button. I'll push that down and it resets that. The tank will stay the same until you refuel. You don't ever have to do anything about that. Every time you fill up, it will reset automatically. We keep going down. Trip distance, trip fuel economy, your tire pressure, and it is it is pretty much dead on accurate and then we go down to a blank screen sometimes people like to have nothing there just so there's no distractions personally I like to be able to see the digital speedometer so if we want to change that I'll skip over to the settings section push the center button to customize and then obviously we have our language gives you a few options here the units you want to change between kilometers, miles, Celsius, Fahrenheit, you can do that. In order to do that, we will hit the center button and you can highlight whichever one you want. Hit the center button again and it will stay locked in. Same thing goes for Celsius and Fahrenheit. To back out, hit the little back button. Drive info one. So as you can see, I had the digital speedometer and current fuel economy. If you want to change that, Let's say, for example, you want to change current instantaneous fuel economy to something different. Hold the center button on that, and all these options will show up. And as you can see, I have a few of these in different pages. Let's say you want to know how much time has elapsed during this trip. Get that highlighted, press the center button. So it's locked in, now you can back out. And let's page all the way over to our information display. And now it shows the elapsed time of this trip, 20 minutes. So that's how easy that is to change. Other options that you have for the driver information. You can have your trip average speed average speed overall just since the last time you reset it the digital speedometer which is my favorite or you can have it blank just like that bottom page was we'll back out so you can do that for those three different pages you can customize it however you please the eco indicator that is a little green light that will show up right over there you can see the outline um, uh, right underneath the five in between the four and the five little eco right there that will light up when you are driving more fuel efficient you can have that on or off pop-up display so for the brightness of the pop-up display that will determine if you have let's say you have radar cruise control you can turn the the pop-up display for that on and off uh, same goes for the navigation I don't have that on this car also your shift position see down in the bottom down in the bottom it is in park you can change that as well just by having it on or off accent color this is kind of cool you can change up whatever color you want let's go to blue and then your little display will have a blue tint to it nothing major if you just change your oil and you need to reset that you can do that on here reset the maintenance minder or uh, let's say maybe your 
Um, I believe it also will let you know for tire rotations as well and, uh, and oil changes. You can go back to default settings if you need to. And that brings us back to the top. So that gives us an overview of how to run the multi-information display. I'm going to back out of here. So there's one more right in the middle there. Right now it says no messages, but let's say that you're, uh, you need to, let's say with these Toyotas, with this Camry, there's 10,000 mile oil change intervals. Once you get to about 9,500 miles or 9,000 miles, it will, it'll give you a message there to tell you you need to go get your oil changed. And that's what will show up there. Or if you have low tire pressure, that's just where it'll message you and let you know. And it will light up orange, so you don't have to be constantly looking for it. It will let you know, and this is where the message will be. Uh, quick overview of the instrument cluster. We zoom out. Over here we have a little peg right there that you can push in and out to change your trip between trip A, trip B, or just nothing. Um, on the far left, if we go all the way over to that one, if you push that knob in, it will change the brightness. You can keep pushing it to cycle through different brightness levels. But that is everything. I hope that this was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a like. If it wasn't, let me know what I could work on. Or if there's anything that I skipped, please let me know.